Hi guys, welcome back to Educating Shani. I'm Shani and I'm recovering from an eating disorder. Hi Shani. Hi. <laughs> we missed you. We missed you too. I missed you too. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. If you don't know me, I'm Shani. This is my husband, Danny. So you haven't seen me in a couple, few weeks? How long is it? A month? Two, I don't even three, know how long it's been. So. Welcome back to another Trigger Food Tuesday video. And Danny's here with us this time. Hi guys. It's gonna be really fun. And I asked him to join because I'm not feeling the greatest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat as much as I can, but I don't think that I'm gonna be able to eat a whole lot today. So I also decided to do it a little bit different today. Usually I go through the steps with you and explain the steps as I'm going to make it faster and just to see if this would work better for everybody. I'm just not even gonna explain and I'm just gonna eat. You'll see me change the steps because I'll be thinking of them in my mind. You know what I mean? But like pausing and, and explaining all the steps to you and stuff takes up a lot of time. And, and I just wanna give this a try and see if it's better. So it's St. Patrick's Day. We missed two weeks of March. Danny was very sad about this because it's his favorite month. Um, St. Patrick's Day. She decorated Day. so beautifully. Look at all the decorations. <laughs> his his uh, family is Irish. So it's, a, it's, it's St. Patrick's Day for them is like Christmas for most people. So they're really cute and fun. So anyway, so he's bummed that there's only gonna be two trigger food with these decorations. But next year, if it's this okay. still is, if this is still going, we'll yeah. see, I don't know. Okay, so I asked you guys on Instagram, I asked you different places what you would want me to eat for fear food or trigger food or whatever. A lot of people said French fries and a lot of people said McDonald's. So we're like, let's just do both. So we just McDonald's ordered- French fries. Yeah, so we ordered French fries and what we would normally order at McDonald's. I just got, I just like plain cheeseburger. But Danny got the, what, 10 piece nuggets. So what we want to talk about today is what happened. Um, because I know a lot of you missed what happened. I left it up for like a week, I think. And then I just, it just was giving me too, too much anxiety to leave it up. And so a lot of you were like, oh, I didn't get a chance to watch it. And I really want to know what happened. And I also want to tell you what happened a little bit, just because um, you deserve to know. And you guys have been loyal followers and viewers and supporters of mine. And you deserve to know what happened and why I took a hiatus. and. And so we're gonna talk about my big mental breakdown that I had. Doesn't that sound fun? So much fun. But I just wanna preface by saying I'm doing much better now. I got the help that I needed. I'm not perfect. I'm not all the way well, but I got a lot of help and I'm, I'm really trying my best. Life sucks, but I'm trying. What's it like to not have to like think about food? So if you guys remember, I did join last time we had one of these. We had it you had that question as oh, well. Oh, we did? He already answered this on the last one, but I took that video down. So what's it like eating and not caring about eating? Like not, it? not worrying about calories or gaining weight or... Mm. And just what goes through your head when you eat? You want me to be super honest? Yeah. You want me to be super on the cut, guys? It's a chore to me. Food is just fuel to me, which is why I can eat whatever, however, whenever. Yeah. Luckily, I've been blessed with a killer metabolism and it eats everything up that I feed it. And it just, I just, I just don't need to care about stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I can eat this junk all day, bread and cheese or whatever. My body just doesn't care. It just turns it into energy. And so I don't really think about food like normal people do. Yeah. Cause it's just, it's just fuel to me. I enjoy, good food mm -hmm. but if it's just there and it's just something to eat but only while eat. he's eating does he enjoy it he doesn't like think about it no. other times during the day or anything like that in fact i forget to eat a lot yeah like still will be busy doing yeah, stuff yeah i have to remind him to eat almost like, every day i will like today i skipped lunch didn't mean to i just got busy with the project and i'm like oh i'm into this and yeah just didn't eat lunch yeah. <laughs> <laughs> isn't that crazy mm -hmm. But it's not, I don't want, I'm not like hungry or wouldn't hurt or anything. Yeah. So, so I'm basically, weird. Danny eats to live. I live to eat. Right. <laughs> I'm a foodie. He, I come from a family of foodies. He does not. His family is polar opposite of it. So it makes sense. But anyway, okay, so let's talk about what happened. So 
last time you saw me, I know I took it down. Let me know in the comments below. I will consider putting it back up on Unlisted and give you the link. Um, so if enough people want to see it again, then tell me in the comments. And if enough people do, then I will, um, I'll, I'll either link it in this video later, in the description of this video later, or I will just, uh, link it in my next video. So, or something like that. I don't know, but let me know if you want to see. But anyway, I did a live stream. I did Trigger Food Tuesday live. We were eating ice cream. After we were done doing that, I just kept talking and... Um, I think I reacted to Diet Coke Head's latest video about me and then we just kept talking and, and the live stream ended up being very long, four and a half hours total, because we got into some stuff and I had a mental breakdown of really the one that's been building for years, probably. We all knew it was going to happen someday and it just happened. This isn't like my typical, because I have mental breakdowns all the time, but this is like, I don't even know what to call it. It was... A disaster but it was just a breakdown and it's like and it felt good to get out my feelings but at the same time it was just very hard i i don't know any other word um so basically what happened was and i'm just gonna explain all this as quickly as i can i will try um <laughs> not very quick uh basically a few years ago a reddit was made about me and um it was it's not a good Reddit. No, it's 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 a it's a snark page. It's a hater page. Yeah, it's a hater page. Um, and I mean that happens when you're a YouTuber when you're <clears throat> whatever. I never thought it happened to me because I'm like a teeny tiny little YouTuber, but I'm like okay. And at first, like when I first found out about it, it had already been going for like a year. And one of my friends told me about it, and stupidly that night I went and stayed up till three in the morning reading through all of every single post that they made and I just lost it. And this was like, what, six months ago, maybe? Yeah, it was a long time ago. No, I mean, it was longer, I think. You have grease on your face. Oh, sorry. He was working on his truck working today. Working on a truck today. Um, so obviously it was really bad. My mental health got really bad. So I stopped reading it completely. And um, ever since then, I've tried my best to not look at it, but I have looked here and there. I'm a human. And just like think about it in your perspective. Like if you knew that there was a subreddit out there of people talking about you and discussing every video that you make and dis discussing every move that you make and show <laughs> to the world and- If I may. Judging it and- It's more than that. It's dissecting, it's twisting. Yeah. And it's fabricating a lot of untruthful things. And from, twisting truth From into a it. handful of people's point of view. It's more than just a Reddit about Shani and her lifestyle. It is It is a straight up just hater page. Anyway, um, so time went on and during this whole time, um, I started a private live stream. No, I started a public live stream on Instagram years and years and years and years ago, like in our last house and probably even way before that. And we called it the InstaFam. A lot of you were in it. Um, if you remember, tell me in the comments below because it was really fun where I went live every single night on Instagram and we would all come together and just hang out and chat and chill and it was awesome and I started to get to know people and I started to like, they started to send me letters and I would write them back and we would become friends and it was amazing and then, you know, things in the social media world started to get crazier and crazier to the point that I was like really afraid that I was like afraid to, sh to show too much of my life and, and too much of my time every day, I guess. And also I was going through some stuff that I didn't feel like I could publicly share. And so I created a different uh, uh, Instagram account, Pringle, and um, invited all, the, all those people that I had met and gotten to know and some of my also real friends in real life and real family in real life. and. Um, things like that and I invited them to come over there and that went on for years and years and then over the past couple of years we've had a lot of really rough things happen in Pringle um, there have been people that are going and posting on the reddit about me and sharing personal information that I shared in Pringle but then they would come back to my live stream and be like oh f the reddit they're so mean they're so awful they're so horrible but like really they were participating too. And once I found that out, that those specific people were participating, 
I couldn't allow them to stay in my private community, by the way, completely private, okay? So they left and they were very bitter and they went straight to the Reddit and they shared a lot more stuff. And um, and and over the next year, it t turned into kind of like a, a couple other people doing the same thing eventually. And now Pringle is great. Now Pringle is so safe. I love those people so much. And I'm so sorry to those of you that have said that you wanted to be in Pringle and it's not fair that I didn't get to be in Pringle. It's just kind of just how the story went and I just created this little side like family and and it just was who who was there in the beginning was there, you know. Um, but I wish that I could have a huge private community with all of you. Um, but I just don't think, I don't think that's safe. It gets <laughs> very messy very quickly yeah, we found so, out. So like people, other things that are happening were that people were like getting jealous and competing for my attention in Pringle, I mean. And so they would also get angry and leave and then go to the Reddit and spread lies and share personal information and then twist it into something that it was absolutely not. And then we had somebody in our private community with a fake name, created a fake account and decided to go and bully themselves and to bully other people in the community um, just so that they could get attention. So like they would send bullying messages to themselves and then show me. And then they would also send bullying messages of things that you would only know if you were in Pringle to other people's lives and their situations and what they've been through and stuff. And and so we knew somebody, it had to have been somebody in our community because that's the only way they could have known. So. Turned into a witch, huh? Yes, it definitely turned into a mess and it was turned awful. Everybody against everybody. Because there was nothing else I could do. I didn't even know what else to do other than I had to start questioning some of my best friends in the whole world and try and figure out who was doing this. And Because it's not cool to do that to mentally ill people that are already suicidal and already going through so much hell that these people know that those people are going through and the audacity to go and make an account and send such abusive and just awful behavior to people that bad. you've known and loved and been talking to for a couple of years. Like, oh, it just was awful. It was terrible. And so the witch hunt turned into just the biggest mess and it exploded. But in the end, it made the people leave that needed to leave, that I needed gone, that they needed gone, that I found out um, who the troll was and I never pressed charges. I went to talk to the police about it, but then I never ended up pressing charges. So anyway, so on my live stream, my mental breakdown. So this was a few weeks ago. I don't know when it was, but anyway, um, one of the people from the Reddit came to the live stream and it happened to be the girl that runs the whole thing, that started the whole thing. And so um, she started questioning me and sometimes like I'll answer those questions on a live stream if I'm feeling like safe and confident that day and, and you know, and I thought I was, I really did. I was like, yeah, I could probably talk about this. And so, so I did and they started grilling me and asking me questions and then other people were like, wait, is that true? Did you really do those things? And I'm like, no, of course it's not true. And then somebody else joined as well that was clearly an ex Pringle member and I actually know exactly who it is, but I'm not gonna say cause I'm not the type of person to bash someone publicly for being a human. So anyway. Um, You're lucky. It's funny because I asked them over and over, tell me who you are, tell me who you are. And they wouldn't tell me. I'm like, okay, if you're really gonna like make these accusations about me and say these things and twist it into something that it's not, and then refuse to tell me who you are, how can I respect that? Like, come on, get out of here. Anyway, but I fed into it and I got caught in the cycle and I just lost my mind finally because I've been being told for years to not maybe not years a year to not give this any attention to not address it on YouTube because that's what they want they want me to react they want me to have a mental breakdown they want to see me upset and they want me to be what they think I should be and I'm just never going to be that and they're just they're just ruthless people and they're the type of people that are like, um, and I don't think they're all bad people. I really don't. I don't think all the people on that Reddit are bad people. Um, and they're also the type of people that they're not gonna stop. They're right fighters. And so they're not gonna stop doing this until they can prove that they're right, but they're not right. And so this is just gonna go on forever. So like, I just have to accept that. But anyway, 
Um, and I, I will say that 99% of the live stream, that 99% of the people there were actually so supportive and so sweet and trying to get me to not feed into this and, and really trying to help. And I'm so sorry and thank you to those of you that were trying to, but at that point my blood was boiling and I was in full just breakdown mode and I just was blinded and all I could see were the comments of those two people that were grilling me and talking to me. So, um, that crazy how that works. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. Get, yeah. People can get so fixated on, mm -hmm. on that, especially in your situation. Like yeah. you just, I was right there talking to you and you didn't hear a thing I was saying. Right. Like it was just right. like yeah. tunnel vision. Yeah. Danny came down about halfway through. And by the way, I saw somebody say like, why didn't Danny make her stop the live stream? Because well, you can tell them. A couple of reasons. One, I knew she had to get this off her chest. Mm -hmm. It had been boiling for, ever since Reddit was made, she found out about it. It's just been boiling in there. And I felt it was more appropriate just to let her have it out, let her, let her cry and lose it a little bit. He tried to stop me at first. Yeah. But then I started crying and it's, it takes a lot to get me to cry. And I, and I started getting into that stage of like, letting go of something that I've been holding on for so long that he's been trying to get out of me. So I think that was his way of just being like, I'm just gonna step back and let her do this. I'm and I'm here on the side, I'm off camera, but I'm right here next to you. I've got this, I don't wanna interrupt. I don't wanna like touch you. I don't wanna just let her do her thing. And I really appreciate that so much, so thank you. You're welcome. Anyway, so this continued and eventually um, I just broke down about everything and explained everything that I could that they were trying to say about me and, and how they were twisting things out of context. And I was trying to explain the context of many different things. And, but then it just, it got to be too much and I was done and I ended the live stream and I said that I was going to take a break. And so I did. So that, that's pretty much what happened. Um, it was a mess, but I will tell you that that night and Danny knows this too, like that night after I turned the live stream off, I did have, this like deep breath of like, <sighs> I have been wanting to say these things for so long. I know it's not professional. Like if I had a PR team, they would hate me right now. They would be like, what are you doing? Stop, stop that's, doing this. That's why YouTubers are yeah. PR teams. Because... Like, well, no, they do. A lot of YouTubers do, but only bigger ones though usually. But anyway, um, so I took a break. I didn't read the Reddit. I didn't go online. I didn't do anything and got the help that I needed. and doing a much, much better now and I'm ready to come back and continue with this channel um, because I don't wanna give up on this. I've worked really hard for almost nine years now. Oh my gosh. Nine years? Wait, is that right? Wait, Not 2015, yeah. So June 9th will be my nine year nice. YouTube anniversary. And it was great for the first few Still years. Still here, suckers. Great for Sorry. the first few years. <laughs> <laughs> it was great for the first few years. Then I had a crash. Then it was good again. Then I had another crash. And it was good. And then I had another crash. And so that's another reason why why some people hate me. But like also that's like mental illness. So I'm not like, like I can't your, be like I can't be like sense. other YouTubers out there and just like decide to be happy today and film a video for you. And like I have to take breaks. That's just mental illness, you know? Can I add one thing? What's the name of this channel? Educating Janie. Oh. 4.0, they make fun of that too. Wait, 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 but it's Educating Shani. Yeah. So not educating Well, Jeremy or educating Brenda or educating... Jeremy, like from TikTok? No, Jeremy, oh. just Jeremy, random Jeremy. The guy or, did a podcast or, with. or even educating Danny or educating yeah. your neighbor. This is educating Shani, right? Right, and I started it. This is her channel. She will, she can do whatever she wants to do on here. Yeah. Keep that in mind, please. Yeah. I know she opens the board up a little too much sometimes, mm -hmm. but this is her channel. Yeah, I'm not, I've made so many mistakes. Like, come on, I'm a but, human being. Right, but what I mean is that this is your channel. Right, and I started- And you're allowed to do whatever you want to do on here. Yeah, when I started this channel, I, had the name in mind, Educating Shani. It meant educating Shani as if Shani is an educator to the world to try to educate people on eating disorders and 
teach them things based off of her own experience. And then over the years, it's just become more of like a journey of my recovery and then me just trying to make more and more helpful videos for other people. And I think that that was part of my problem is that it's been a long time for me since I've done helpful videos for me. I've been just focusing on other people and what they might want to see or what they might need to see. And I just have not been giving myself enough focus and enough time to like, what do I want to post? What do I want to talk about? What do I want to do? And so that's, you know, another reason that, you know, I wanted to do this very shortly today and, and not have it be too much of like, oh, I'm giving you my wisdom of this. I'm just going to let you watch it. And, and moving forward from here on out also, I'm just gonna let you watch my journey again. If I f feel like I have helpful things, I'm gonna put it out there, but I'm going to put my first myself first because otherwise the content is just gonna turn into a mess and this is what happens. I, I it, it just turns into a mess and then I have a breakdown and then another mess and then I have another breakdown and then I try really hard and it goes good and then, and then and I have another breakdown and all that stuff and... You got it. Was I not breathing? No. Okay. <laughs> or blinking. <laughs> or blinking. <laughs> Moving forward, I have a lot of content coming up. And um, specifically, I have a really, really big video coming out very soon, like in the next week. Shh. I'm supposed to tell anybody about that. No, I, I've warned. I've kind of... I've kind of... I'm not supposed to tell anybody about that. Why are you winking on that side? They can see that side. You're not supposed there to you tell go. anybody about that. <laughs> You're like... <laughs> You're not supposed to tell anybody. Not about tell anybody about that. <laughs> anyway, um, and then there's other things I have in mind too. But you know what? I'm also getting to the point where I am also part of the help that I was getting and trying to f figure out what it is that I need if I'm going to be back here. Um, to be honest, it might. It, I'm. 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 Uh... <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I want you all to know none of this is scripted. None of this is rehearsed. This is all fresh. That's why I'm such a mess. And... <laughs> That's why my videos are such a mess. Yeah. I am not fit for how the internet is now. I'm not fit to be a YouTuber for how YouTube is now. When it started, it was great. And I could talk openly about things and I could share and get you guys to share and support and all that stuff. And, and that still happens, but Nowadays, it's 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 like you have to watch every single tiny little thing you say or else you're either gonna get demonetized, which I don't give a crap about, or you're going to get a lot of hate and a lot of people judging you because cancel culture is so, it's just popular for people get that are life. bored, maybe? I don't know. Get a life. To go online Sorry, and just like criticize like every little tiny thing that, that celebrity, not that I'm celebrity, but like that people that they watch do. And it's just so gross. Like, that's so gross. What is this world that we're living in right now where everybody is so obsessed with taking people down and proving that those people are horrible people? What if your life was documented online? Think about that. Your was... biggest mistakes documented online and then that have thousands, sometimes millions of people picking apart your life when they actually don't actually know you. It, it, Two-edged sword there. You do share that stuff very openly, mm -hmm. but obviously the other sort is you're trying to no, I, I, allow yeah. people to see what you're going through. I do still do it. I'm just saying that it's getting harder. Right. That's the problem. The internet has changed. One thing I was going to say on that note, all of these people and cancel culture and all that stuff, especially on what we're experiencing with the Reddit, mm -hmm. none of them, not one of them are doing what you do. They are not on here sharing your their own personal life experiences, the highs, the lows, the crashes, the failures, the freakouts. None of them are doing that. No one has a channel of themselves laying it all out there like you do. Not one of them. And I understand. If they did, I would give them props. Be like, you know yeah. what? You're doing the same thing, so you get it. Yeah. I will take constructive criticism from you because you're doing it. Mm -hmm. All you people are, that are trying to tear Shandy down, guys. Unless you know Unless me. you're doing this daily, every freaking day like she does, you have no you have nothing to stand on. And I understand that I signed up. You have to stand on. Yeah. I, I know you're sharing a lot. Well, I understand that I signed up to do this, to be a YouTuber. Sure. However, give me some grace because it's I'm not a normal YouTuber. YouTubers don't have mental illness like this and choose to talk about it anyway. 
and choose to try and help people and educate and share their most vulnerable moments and hardest times in their life in order to have them feel not alone and reach out and see if they're alone and then they don't feel alone and no one feels alone and it's a great thing and it's a lot of youtubers don't do do that and it, even if they do no youtuber signs up for this thinking oh this is gonna happen one day right like that's why i'm in it for it like nobody is, expects this is, like it just is, is this an unspoken rule that we didn't know about to have the unadulterated right to just bash on somebody relentlessly for it what is they post lately. it is recently if that's a rule i'd like to see it Thank otherwise you. you're just a jerk <laughs> thank you guys for being here Thank you guys for supporting Shani. She really, really does appreciate it. Whoa, we busted through those real fast. We do this real quick. Yeah. Your short distraction. Is that the wheel or the box? Mm -hmm. The wheel. I'm proud of myself. I sat with the feeling. I appreciate it. Wheel of distraction. What does that say? Oh. Read comments. Okay. Uh, okay. So this is a comment that somebody sent in when I requested Fear Foods on Instagram. Um, and I was going to respond to it on my channel or my story on Instagram, but I think I'm just going to do it here with Danny here with me. So do you want to read this for me, that one? Just because moving forward, I do want to address this because... You see, I don't understand these kind of comments. This is, well, but this is something that I address in the live stream that I took down. So I would like to address it again okay. so that it's out there. This person, which... Against my better judgment, so remain nameless, even though I want to call you out hard right now. No, don't say that. <sighs> says, stop doing this crap already. She doesn't say crap, she says the other word. This is damaging. People with ED, people will ED, will eat vicariously through you. Mm -hmm. Go away, please. I'm assuming she meant people with a ED. So she's talking about the series that um, people that don't eat, people with eating disorders that don't eat, um, sometimes we'll watch videos online of other people eating and they'll eat vicariously through them. But I've made this the way I have for a reason. Like going through these steps and eating slowly on camera is not something that anorexics would want to see. Like if they want to see me eat a, someone eat a burger, they're going to go watch a mukbang where people are just like shoving food in their face and eating at a normal pace. I eat very slow. I take steps, I take breaks, I take slips and blah, blah, blah. And even if somebody still is, then it's it's like what I've had to learn over the years is is to really take responsibility for your own triggers. Big time. If that's gonna happen, then don't watch. And if you decide to watch and eat vicariously through me, I'm sorry, I can't do anything about that. That is on you. I'm sorry, I'm still gonna do it because I know this is gonna help people who overeat and because of it's gonna help bulimics. And that's where I have, I'm an expert in <laughs> But you understand those things too. Absolutely. But, uh, so yeah, so maybe some people are gonna eat, I doubt it, but even if they are, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, there are gonna be people that watch videos for all kinds of reasons that nobody, no YouTuber knows about. I'm sure there's people, YouTubers that I watch that they wouldn't even think that that's why I'm watching them type right, thing. Right. Like if you're gonna decide to do that, that's on you, not me. What do you say about eating disorders? With a they lot. What do you mean? thrive in <laughs> secrecy, and, secrecy loneliness. and loneliness. That comment to me is that you're trying to keep it secret and stay lonely. That's what that it reeks of that to me. Well, that's an eating disorder. You should just you should just stop this. I'm I, I can't deal with this and just go away. And that's an eating disorder. We're not we're not yeah. here to go away. We're here to show you examples of how to get over some of this stuff. So I already appreciated the food in my mind. Did you? Oh, I, I so appreciated it. We stopped thinking about the food. Okay, should we pick a long distraction? So this is just a cute little box that I made. You saw the short distraction wheel. Um, this is a long distraction. It's Good important to have a distraction after you <laughs> eat. So I'm gonna try and do whatever it is, whatever it says in here. We'll see. And if you want to, you can too. Good luck. Oh, geez. It says to write a poem. Roses are red, violets are blue. I am here and I went poo because I do go poo poo. That's when I learned that I had do do to do. That was good. That was pretty good. Wow. Anyway, I am actually gonna try and write a poem. I I am kind of working on writing like a new song, and so maybe 
that's where it will be put into. I don't know. You should follow the box and say, write a poem. Yeah. I did it. Get on with your life. Time to get on with my life. I'm going to go and edit this video and get it up for you guys. And um, if you want to see me do this again, please tell me in the comments below uh, suggested trigger food that I could eat. McDonald's used to be like one of my number one triggers, but um, it's it's for me, it's been about like finding whatever won't hurt my stomach the most, you know, and just going with it and just eating little bits at a time and really just mindful eating. That's what this is about. It's just mindful eating. Yeah, I'm, I'm just grateful to be here. I'm grateful that I'm alive and that I survived what happened. And um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Very, vi very, vi very video. I'll very see you video. Soon, very video for a soon. And it will be great <laughs> for a big video coming up. I'll see you for that. That's the next thing you're going to see. Real quick. Be prepared. I'm really proud of you. This is not easy. Anyone who gets into YouTube thinking this is easy, this is not easy. Especially this niche. Even, niche, even, niche, even niche, yeah. Niche. Yeah. Click, niche. Click, niche. 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 Quiche. Niche. 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 Why doesn't anything sound right like that right now? Niche. 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 I think it's niche. Right. Anyway. Not easy. Super yeah. proud. Keep going. And all YouTubers. It's not easy for YouTubers that don't have mental illness either. Just. Not easy. Stop picking everyone apart in the world. Yeah. Build not up. Even just YouTubers. Build up. Yeah. Like that's what we need. Build up. Guys. Like we get enough of awful people in the world trying to bring us down we don't need more of that like just gosh find something else to do with your time that's what we used to do we used to all just build each other up no matter what where we were what we were doing yeah it was a build up of, of people and now it's just become mm -hmm. tear down and tear down and tear mm -hmm. down and tear down over the littlest insignificant crap yeah. too yeah tear down and we're only talking about- Let's not do that, that guys. Let's we're move on. We're up, only, up, up, yeah. We're Build only talking up. about that 1% on my channel. 99% of my viewers oh, are yeah. awesome. Yeah. And you guys still do that awesome. and build me up and encourage me. And that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about that 1% for me and for other people in the world and what we've seen there. So totally. anyway. Build up guys. Yeah. Find someone to build up, up. today, yeah. tomorrow, in this week. So we see you next time. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. And remember forever and always that you're beautiful. You are worth it. And I am too. Thank you for watching. Bye. See you guys.